Igaz, hogy Peti, a Rakvettem a csalán, hír tudó, máj, auguszt, audiobook wrap up. I have went through 20 books in August, and um, grab a tea, settle in. I'm gonna try to go through them as fast as possible, because there's a lot. So, without further ado, let's begin with. The first one was Mobile Girls, which um, is about three girls who come together to avenge a um, classmate's rape. And um, I gave it four stars. Then the second was uh, The Breakdown by B. Ferris, which I gave two stars, which is uh, about Cassandra, who is a school teacher, and she has um, early onset dementia, and she gets herself involved with an acquaintance's uh, um, death and uh, tries to figure out what happened. The third one was uh, Evil and the Mask, where uh, a guy gets himself uh, a new face uh, with a plastic surgery in order to be able to stalk uh, his uh, uh, old stepsister, sort of stepsister, because um, the girl was uh, taken out of an orphanage and uh, his uh, father had uh, widowed the girl and um, he has fallen in love with her and he murdered uh, his uh, father in order to um, get the girl to um, escape the situation. Then the, I like that one a lot, I gave it five stars. Then I have uh, listened to Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, which is a non-fiction book about the girl um, who got uh, radiation sickness and leukemia after uh, the Hiroshima Nagasaki bombing in after World War II. And uh, it was not very well written, so I gave it three stars. Then uh, the fifth one was The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, and um, I got only 6% into it, and um, I'm going to continue it, but uh, I want to get the physical copy because uh, the writing is beautiful. It's about a guy, um, a young guy, who finds a book, and this book contains him in itself, and it's a story. story is our main character, and um, he just goes with it on a journey, and I want to read it physically. Then uh, I have listened to her personal demons, which I have DNF'd, is a um, supernatural romance spicy book um, where the main character goes from an abusive relationship to uh, get uh, trapped in an apartment with uh, Lucifer, Dante and Cassie. And um, the writing was not so great, so I just left it as is. Then I have tried More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, which was his first novel. And it's about Aaron Soto, who is 16 years old, from Bronx, and uh, there's an experimental um, thingy where they can erase your memories, and because he goes to an art retreat and um, uh, falls in love with the boy and breaks up with his girlfriend and then tries to get with the boy, but turns out the boy is straight. So, as to not deal with the heartbreak, he goes to get the thingy, and turns out that um, he already had once and then um, he gets beaten up by an old classmate or childhood friend or something and um, now he's um, he can form new memories but uh, I didn't like uh, I don't I just don't like Adam Silvera's writing so that's that uh, DNF'd it so then I have um, listened to Unbreak My Heart uh, which was Um, about the woman needing to fix a man, so I uh, DNF that one as well because we don't need that, we don't need man child um, to be love interest. Then I have tried the Bond Spindler, which has a um, very Mary Sue main character where the girl is um, a treasure hunter, I think, and uh, she meets someone in a tavern and they go on an uh, adventure. And I didn't care for it because it was very cringy. Then I have tried The Girl from the Well, which is a Japanese ghost story where uh, a girl was murdered and pushed into a well, and um, she is becoming a vengeful spirit. And uh, the writing was not great. Then I have listened to the Twisted Love so story by um, Samantha Downing, where there was a murder happening and um, we don't know it's a couple and we don't know who did it the uh, woman or the man and who is governing for whom and it's a very toxic relationship but it was very well done i gave it five stars then i have listened to horrid by katrina leno which is about a girl who after her father's death moves um, back to her mother's parents home 
and uh, even though it's an old house and uh, it's uh, widely known that it's uh, haunted they go there and um, the haunting and zoos and I loved it and I give it five stars then I have listened to Love Online which is about a cam girl and uh, um, media director um, getting it on and it was very wholesome even though it doesn't sound like that it was very well uh, written so I give it five stars or four I'm not sure then I have listened to Honey Girl which is a um, female female romance about an African American and a Japanese American who get married in Vegas without knowing each other just right off the blue and then they um, reconnect and try to make the marriage work and it was very wholesome and I loved it um, then I have listened to My Killer Vacation by Bessaville I think yep and I gave it four stars it was about a woman vacationing and uh, when with her brother and when they arrive at the Airbnb the owner is um, found murdered in the washroom and um, there's a guy who's uh, investigating the death and uh, they sort of try to find out what happened there and uh, I liked it I gave it four stars then I have listened to and read along Chain of Gold which is the first book in the Last Hour trilogy I think uh, by Cassandra Clare and uh, I loved it I gave it five stars it's just very immersive it's um, following um, the clockwork uh, prince princess and angel that trilogy mm, infernal devices I think and um, those main characters children so I just like that time it's um, very um, nostalgic to me and then I have listened to the downstairs girl which is a historical fiction about a girl who uh, wants to raise horses and uh, she's a Chinese American and when uh, they weren't allowed in men's society and men's sports and uh, just in men's spaces in general and I liked it a lot I gave it I think 4.5 stars then I have listened to the ones we burn which is a witchy book witchy uh, sapphic romance fantasy book about a witch who infiltrates the kingdom and her mission is to kill the prince and uh, she falls in love with the princess and it's a fun time then I have uh, tried writing that or die which is um, about Lolly and Ryan who are reckless teenagers and uh, Lolly makes a house party and uh, she encounters an anonymous stranger and uh, starts to correspond with him and starts to do all the challenges that he is uh, putting up for her and I didn't care for it I DNF'd it and listen it's a Gen Z fantasy visual film and book it's not for me then the last one that I'm still um, listening to is the witch and the vampire which is uh, about a witch who is a vampire hunter and a vampire who killed the witch's mother and they were best friend and uh, they are supposedly in love too I'm just at the beginning of it but I love it so those were all the books that I have listened to and let me know in the comments if you have uh, read any of those and um, if you want me to give another chance to any which I have DNF'd thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video